News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 13th of September. The Dow futures right now at this 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow futures are unchanged. So whatever the economic news is, the market has said, eh, it had a big shot. It had a sharp pullback, and then it came back. It went a little bit positive. Now it's holding. So the day is beginning as if it ended yesterday. So whatever happened yesterday so far, we haven't had any impetus to really from the news at least, break to the upside of the downside. Looking at the E-mini, I'll go to the continuous contract, it's down about one at 45.12, same thing. So let me just uh, emphasize that the Dow pattern has this arch formation that says, kind of got limited upside, but at the moment it also has limited downside. The same thing with the S&P, but the nine period moving av average hasn't turned pink. I'm expecting that it will turn pink and that'll be a negative. Looking at the NQ, that's the NDX 100, trading down 10 at 15,492. It's the same thing. If I look at the QQQ with the close yesterday, the QQQs, um, it hasn't gotten to the inside track yet. It hasn't even rallied sharply enough. But if the Qs actually can get from 372 up into the 375 area in the next few days, that's a, that's a good sign. But it mustn't break 370 support. IWM, the Russell 2000, IWM, there it is. Uh, under the 200 pre moving average, very weak gold. Uh, gold is um, unchanged right now, 1935. It's holding pretty darn well when you think about what the dollar has done. The dollar's up 33 ticks at 104.95, doing very well. I think it's got another pop to the upside. And then just like crude oil, I think it's just starting to get into just an over, based on my unbalanced volume, it's getting to a little bit overbought area. Not a little bit, it's actually quite a bit overbought. It can stay that way for a little longer. Now, I'm not sure yet because the, the crude oil on the daily chart is I got this as a B, and this is an alternate count. That says you can still go a little higher. Looking at the bonds, the bonds right now, the bonds are down 6.30 seconds at 119.830 seconds. Those yields are so close to breaking to the upside. So with that said, um, within the context of the market, it's the SMHs that I've really focused on a lot. Uh, they're down about 36 cents right now pre-market at 149.01. And that nine period moving average actually crossed negative. Does it flip back to positive today? It means that the SMHs have to really climb into the 152, 153 area to be able to do that. So it's going to be a very interesting session. If after two o'clock the, the Dow is up to 60, that's going to be okay for a good close. But if it holds minus 50 at any point for an hour intraday, that's going to be big. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.